Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about animation. I'm gonna show you how to do animation in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, this is the most exciting part for every editor. In my own opinion, animation is the art of programming an object to move from one point to another on its own within a given time. This is done by using markers called keyframes, which defines the start and ending point of that particular animation. If I select the clip in the timeline and go to the effect controls, under motion, we have position and scale with these values that we can use to change the position or the scale of that particular clip. Next to the names of these properties, we have this stopwatch called toggle animation. You can see it next to every other value. And if I press on it, a mark is created on the other side here. Let's expand this area over here this is the area we can use to program our animations. Let's call it animation area for now, at least. And this mark over here is called a keyframe. All right, let's see how it all works together to create animations. First, I'll scale this clip down to 50 so we can see it better. And let's remove this keyframe that we created earlier by just clicking on the stopwatch again and the message will pop up to ask if we really want to remove the keyframe, let's say yes. So the three things that you always have to keep in mind when doing animations are the starting point of the animation, the duration of your animation, and the end point of your animation. So let us say I want this clip to move from left to right in two seconds. I will use the position value to bring the clip to where I want the animation to start from, then create a keyframe there by pressing this stopwatch here to tell the program that I want to start the animation from this mark. Then move two seconds and change the values to the end point where you want the animation to end. You will see that another keyframe will be created automatically because of the one we created first. The program knows that we are animating. When we play back, we can see our clip moving from point A to point B in two seconds, just as we planned it. The animation is perfect, but it starts immediately and stops immediately. So we need the animation to be smooth, where it starts slowly and stops slowly. You know, it shouldn't just start, go and stop. It has to start and move slow just like that. To do that, let's select the first keyframe and right click on it. Go to temporal interpolation and choose ease out because this is where the animation is coming from. Then we can go to the next keyframe right click and choose temporal interpolation again and choose ease in because this is where the animation is coming into when we play that clip again we can see that it starts very slowly then it goes and stops very slowly as well this is what will separate professional animators versus amateurs right so make sure you ease in ease out your keyframes so that it has this smooth you know flow now let's plan another animation this time i want the clip to move from the center to the left in one second then it stays there for three seconds then let it move to the right in two seconds let me start by removing those keyframes for the first animation by pressing the stopwatch and say yes according to our animation plan the clip must start from the center put a keyframe there then move the playhead for one second and move the clip to the left where you want it to stop. A keyframe will be created automatically. Then move the playhead again for three seconds and put a keyframe manually this time because we want nothing to happen for these three seconds. And by putting the keyframe, we are telling the program to keep that same value. And this time we do it using this button here, which appears when we enable animations. And after these three seconds, we want it to move for two seconds to the right. So we move the playhead for two seconds and move our clip to the right using the position values. When we play back from the beginning, we see our clip moving according to our plan. It moves to the left for one second, then it stays there for three seconds, then moves to the right for two seconds. Now, it's not only the position that you can animate. Every other property that has this toggle animation button can do animation. Let's take the rotation as well. The plan is that this clip should move from left to right while making a 360 degrees rotation. Let's take out the previous keyframes 
again like so. Since we want it to move from left to right, let's put a keyframe here and also for the rotation, let's toggle the animation. Let's move the playhead for two seconds, then move the clip to the right and also 360 degrees, which you can put by clicking on the value, then type 360 degrees in this box, right? When we play our clip, you can see it is moving while it's rotating. Now remember the clips that I said, we shall come back to them later. Let's go back to them. I want to show you something really advanced stuff now. Okay, here we are. What I want to do here is to animate all these three clips into this position. So I want the top clip to come from the top, the bottom clip to come from down, and the side clip to come from left to right. All of them at the same time in two seconds. Then stay in one position for three seconds. Then the one at the bottom move to the left, the one on the side move to the right, and the one on the top come to full screen. All of them at the same time in one second. So let's move two seconds with the playhead. Then let's put keyframes on each clip since this is the position they are all animating to. So clip one, toggle position. Clip two, the same and clip three as well. Then let's move the playhead at the beginning. The top clip should come from up. So let's adjust the position. The bottom clip should come from down, then the third clip from the left. When I play the animation, this is what we have so far. Take the playhead to the end of the animation. Count three seconds from there and create another keyframes for each clip. The top clip will scale this time around. So let's toggle the scale and position. The bottom and the side clips, I will put keyframes on the positions like this. Let's move our playhead by one second, then the side clip moves to the right, the bottom clip to the left, and the third clip to full screen. So let's scale it to fit at 100 and adjust the position. To make the animation professional, let us select the first keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation, is in and do this for the other keyframes like so. Now, let's play from the beginning. exactly according to our plan. We can even offset our clips in the timeline like this and see what kind of animation we have now. All right, these are just the basics of animating your clips. So you can move your clips around, you know, create interesting compositions and stuff like that. But we shall learn more as we go. So in the next video, I want to show you how to animate effects as well. This is it. Peace.